Hi, YouTube, and welcome back, empaths of the world. <laughs> it's so nice to be with you energetically and uh, emotionally and spiritually. It's so wonderful to have a collective of beings that are like-minded, living from a pure heart structure to call so soul family. So welcome, blessings to you and your families and your communities and blessings to all of your soul work, all of the spiritual work that you're doing on the planet. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for being the beautiful divine being that you are. And always remember you are divinely supported you are known, you are loved, you are seen, and um, you are protected by divine beings of higher white light. I'm just going to adjust my camera a little bit. I don't know if that made a difference or not. I didn't like seeing my fan at the top. <laughs> All right, dear ones, you are receiving new soul technology and a system update and um, new divine software is being uploaded to your main frame and your operating system. You continue to be the phoenix rising from the ashes because you've been through so many challenges and you continue to rise. You continue to rise above all of the challenges. This time in 2024 yes you are still the phoenix but it's different this time because as you either let go of things that were not aligned in 2023 or as you are doing that maybe some of you are still in the process of releasing all kinds of things you know people places things um addictions and um energy vampires and you know, people with a narcissistic construct that have no interest in supporting your highest good as you're releasing those things, or if you have recently released those things, you are creating or you created space to have all your power returned. So this lifetime is extremely special for us empaths because this is the lifetime that we are reclaiming power that has been lost from us either in this lifetime or previous lifetimes, previous experiences. You are reclaiming from all dimensions power that was either stolen or hijacked, drained, um, you know, somehow um, removed from you. You know, because when we are, when we're stuck in childhood trauma or uh, pain, sorrow, loss, um, we have these hooks, we have these energetic hooks or latches, we have holes, we have, you know, ties and cords tethering us, um, you know, sort of like energetic parasites even exist within us. Once we heal, once we release the things that no longer serve and that are not aligned with our path, once we let those go, the holes fill up. The ties and the tethers and the cords begin to dissolve in the light of the divine and we begin to be a more whole integrated empath a more whole integrated stronger version of what we thought we knew was the truth about us so empaths you are reclaiming all of your parts so many things that were lost you know there's the material things like money there's the um you know personality things maybe you were wearing a mask maybe you weren't really truly abiding in your highest light um, because what you thought you were was the false construct you know that was created through pain and sorrow and loss you know being deceived being misunderstood now that you are remembering who you are and aligning to the highest version of yourself and you know you've accepted all of these light codes healing codes activation codes you know, they carry wisdom, they, they carry ancient wisdom from the Akashic records and ancient wisdom of past generations and past lifetimes. Your soul has existed for eons, dear ones, created by the source of creation. And your soul has ancient knowledge or it has access to ancient knowledge that you and your physical form may have forgotten or you may have just not even been aware was available for you. Now you are the phoenix rising 
in the ashes, from the ashes, into a higher life. But now, this time, you are reclaiming all of your power, all of your gifts, all of your wisdom from across time and space. That power is being returned to you now. You know, you humbled yourself, um, or you're in the process of doing that, but I, my sense is that so many of you, you humbled yourself. You released the ego. You allowed the ego to be transmuted. You released your shadow. You allowed that to be transmuted and then returned back to you. You didn't let go of the ego. You took it back and you took your shadow back, but aligned and reconfigured, reconstructed according to your highest version. So now your ego and your shadow are not playing against you. They're on the same team with your spirit and your soul. And so now you are aligned with your highest timeline with reclaimed and integrated power and gifts and abilities. The image that my spirit team is giving me is Wonder Woman from the movie Wonder Woman um, 1984. If you saw that movie, you know that um, it was really cool because it gave us a lot of interesting uh, information about her, you know, the way she moves around. Actually, both movies, both Wonder Woman's. Um, recent Wonder Woman movies, you know, gave us a lot of background on her, a lot of history on her background and how she moves through the world and why she moves through the world. But in the 1984 film, she found a way to bring her past lover uh, into her current reality. And she was just really enjoying being with him. She loved him so much and he loved her so much. And so he looked different but he was the same, the same emanation. He was just a, a different body. And um, in, or it actually, it was the same body. But then she lost something and bringing something from an old timeline that wasn't aligned for her now experience, she lost the power that she had and she lost sight of the mission, which was to help the planet. And so very much like that, she had to release her her love, she had, to really, she had to sacrifice the one thing that she really, really, really wanted in order to protect the mission assignment, in order to preserve the light and dignity and grace and goodness associated with why she even came. Why was she even on the planet? It was to serve. And so similarly, dear ones, when you surrendered you claimed all your power back and there's this scene in the film where she's just flying through the air to her mission assignment to save planet the planet and all her powers coming on and, and she's you can see her um going through the pain the loss feeling the grief feeling the loss and at the same time because she's steadfast and she's moving forward the power is just coming back her armor is coming back and all of her energy and her power and her light and her life force is coming back. And it's the same with you. You're that phoenix rising from the ashes, but this time the power is coming back to you from all the dimensions, all the realities across space and time. Anything that was ever stolen from you is returning to you now. So receive it, receive the gift of you, the gifts from your soul, all of those light codes that were activated in you in 2023 or some of them are coming they're coming online now and you are in the fullness of your power so new software dear ones was uploaded from the divine into your soul structure and this created a system update it's so cool a spiritual unveiling and when you surrendered your ego you opened up to the highest plan, the highest flow that is available for your soul. So you opened up to God flow. You became a channel of goodness and a guide to this planet in a more activated way with activated soul technology. This is really super cool. It's really super exciting. What is alive in you now has never been seen before within your human experience. And in some ways, dear ones, what we are activating now in terms of soul technology, it's never been activated or implemented on this planet. This is a new day. It's not only a new year, year 2024, it's a new day. It's a new 
season, we're experiencing a new vibration, a new frequency, a new flow, higher dimensions. So your alignment with the spirit realm gives you access to greater wisdom and the specific divine keys to doors that you previously were not able to walk through because they were closed and you didn't have the keys. Now you have the keys. You've received a system update, new software and soul technology. You are on the right path now, dear empath. You took the right road. You know, there was a fork in the road and you took the right one. So you're like clay now. You are malleable and in some ways a little bit naive and innocent and open, yet evolved and wise and strong. Naive in the sense that this is all so new and your spirit team and God creator source are now teaching you. They're able to teach you and you're able to receive in a different way than before because now you're really online, fully activated with all, it's like all systems go. I'm hearing that all systems go because you are the Phoenix rising with the power returning. So your inner child, dear ones, can play again because now as the Phoenix is rising, your inner child is healthy. For many of you, you're for the first time ever in this lifetime, in this human experience, your inner child is healthy and light and strong and plain no longer healing but heal for some of you some of you are healed it's a beautiful experience healing is beautiful but being whole and being healed is also an incredible recalibration and an incredible victory for you individually but also for our empath collective so there's a lightness, dear ones, a creativity, a playfulness, and a desire to explore and build, not from an egoic pattern, but from a newfound purpose in and of God, creator, source. Your creations now have a purity, a lightness, a frequency that is divine. So this is really beautiful good news for all of you amazing creators, content creators online, as well as you artists, all of you amazing, incredible artists, so many different artists. You know, some of you are painters and writers and you draw and you build and I see architects and landscapers and gardeners. I mean, so many of you, I see somebody working with sand and iron. I see somebody working with brick. I mean, you guys are doing some off the chain, incredible, amazing things, all in a divine way. And you are so dialed into the higher frequencies available to us in the universe from your soul team and your soul structure. You are really, really being gifted incredible divine creations that are going to offer new options and new choices to humanity. So some of you like the artist, we're gonna look at your artistry, we're gonna read your books, we're going to look at your paintings and your drawings and your architecture, your graphic designs, and we're going to immediately feel the frequency that's backing and undergirding those creations. And then we all are going to receive a healing and a blessing from your gifts. So thank you so much for being in position and thank you so much for downloading what is gifted to your soul because it honors the entire collective. So your creations now have a purity and a frequency that is divine and this is what was previously missing. You're going to notice that your offerings are very different and they're going to attract more attention now because they are in a higher light. The pure heart structure plus the divine higher frequency is the sacred sauce for you. You are in your sacred sauce era. <laughs> <laughs> Dear empaths, you are receiving the sacred sauce from the divine and from your soul structure and from your team. So you're healing this beautiful healing that you did last year and throughout you know your lifetime here. So your dedicated and intentional work towards being healed. That was a huge power move for you. You didn't realize it. You were just on the fast track to healing, but you made a power move when you just decided once and for all, I'm done with the shenanigans and the low vibe and the low level, I'm releasing that and I'm choosing of my own free will to ascend and to be the highest version of myself. Even if I'm a party of one, even if I'm alone, I'm going to serve God, creator, source, 
and I'm going to do my very best to honor this life by being my soul in this human experience. That was a power move for you, dear ones. And it set the tone for all of these new purpose-driven creations that you are offering to the collective at this time. It set the tone for your new destiny. Spiritually speaking, you bossed up. Bravo, brava. So healing after surrendering the ego was the catalyst for activating new technology in your mainframe. You uploaded new software to your operating system and you're about to see your life elevate in a variety of areas. So get ready. You have new soul technology. Your codes are fully activated, dear ones. So now is the time. You're still in your abundance era and your creative era, but and your secret sauce era now. <laughs> but now's the time to be super intentional. Say yes to what your soul truly is saying yes to. Embrace and embody all of your soul yeses, all of your divine absolute yeses, and also say no hard, strong no to what is not aligned. Be so aligned with your soul. I guess what I'm saying is be so aware that you are aligned. Know with clarity that you are aligned in a new way, in a profound way, that when you say yes, you can say yes with expectation. Meaning when you say yes, you are an alchemist and you are uh, receiving and um, allowing what your soul actually wants you to have, okay? When you say yes to the universe, when you say yes to God, when you say yes to your soul team, when you say yes to anything, it's going to manifest. You're an alchemist and you are a master manifester and you are magnetic. But when you say no, it stops it right then and there. If you say no, it's done. You are heard and you are backed by heaven. So if look at the things in your life, you know, you've done so much work. You're the phoenix rising from the ashes. You are receiving all of your power. It's, it's coming back to you, you know, from all dimensions, all space and time, from all of the directions. You are receiving all of your power back now. If something doesn't align with who you are now, with your secret sassy sauce self now, if it doesn't align, say no. And you don't have to beg and plead and grovel for lower um, energies or lower frequencies or entities or anything demonic or anything devil energy that's not aligned for your path. You don't have to beg it to go. All you have to do is say no and then call in your guardian protectors, Archangel Michael and whoever else you work with, benevolent ancestors, divine higher beings of celestial light, to shut the door behind them, to escort those energies out, and to shut the doors, the windows, every portal, every opening, shut it down now. All you have to do is say no to what is aligned, not aligned, just say no. No, I don't approve of this, I don't accept this, I don't allow this new timeline system update, okay? New software upload now that is not a part of the reality that I'm choosing. So this is your birthright to say yes, unapologetically with expectation to those things that are aligned and that you are allowing and that you are receiving and to say no unapologetically to those things that are not part of your reality. They're not part of this soul technology. They're not part of this path that you've taken. They're not part of this phoenix rising. This phoenix is different than previous phoenixes. The previous phoenixes, they rose. It's beautiful. They were, they rose, but some of them were kind of like, you know, still broken. You're not broken anymore. You're strong. You're healthy. You're aligned. You're super powerful. You are super clear why you are on the planet and what you are here to do. You're manifesting from there. You are launching from that incredible, complete, aligned knowing who you are. So full alchemy is activated, dear ones. And what you create in the inner world, in the sanctuary of the heart, manifest in your outer world. Complete manifestations are possible, no longer incomplete. So rather than incomplete, partial manifestations we are now in our era of getting it right 
We have the fully activated codes and we are using those codes to manifest what is aligned for us to complete our mission assignments to heal communities and to create peace on earth. Love is the way to healing and your self-love opened you up to this higher level of everything. Your courage that you exercise to love yourself and to truly heal yourself is the reason why all of these system updates are now available to you. It's the reason why you are launching from light in this higher vibration and higher frequency. It's the reason why you are the phoenix rising from the ashes, but it feels different this time as you are reclaiming and receiving and reintegrating all of the light codes, all of the power across space and time that was ever taken from you, stolen from you, hijacked from you, or drained from you, it is now returned to you in fullness and completion. And so it is. All right, dear beautiful empaths, these are the messages that I had for us this week. I am sending you so much love and light from my heart um, to your heart, from my soul to your soul. May you be blessed. May you have a beautiful week. Um, and I'm just so excited for us. Can you feel the newness? Can you feel how it's different now? Can you feel the different energy, the different frequency, the different God flow? The God flow and the glow of spirit. It's so beautiful. So I'm going to leave it here for now. Sending you all my love and so many blessings. And um, yeah, peace be with you. I'll see you again. <laughs>